Hello there, let's talk Zoom, the video conference solution we have here at SMU that we can use for smaller meetings, smaller group uh, sessions, as well as entire online classes. So uh, on our classroom machines, we will have Zoom installed on the desktop. You'll have a shortcut on the podium machine in a classroom. And to start up Zoom, you can click on that. And also, if you needed to install Zoom on any other uh, computer on your personal device, things like that, you can visit zoom.us and that will be available for you to download. So it's pretty easy there. And so now once you open Zoom on a classroom machine or on your personal machine, you can create a new meeting immediately and it will provide you with a link to share via email or Skype or uh, Canvas, whatever it may be. Or in advance, if you have a scheduled class that you would like to schedule, go ahead and click on that schedule button here and you can schedule a particular meeting and you can name it for whatever class you're teaching or whatever uh, study group or office hours you're doing and also once you schedule that meeting I'll just go ahead and click on schedule for mine right here it will then give you here on the zoom screen a meeting ID and the meeting ID you can copy and paste into a canvas announcement an email uh, you can share it with uh, colleagues uh, staff and faculty with Skype for business uh, that can be put anywhere and uh, also you can create calendar invitations in Outlook as well that you can send to people with that meeting ID as well. So right now let's go ahead and just start this meeting so I can show you how a meeting works. So I'm going to click on start here for this upcoming meeting I scheduled. And what will happen is it will bring up this meeting window and it will also ask you at first how you would like to join the meeting audio wise. So you can either join with computer audio if you have a headset or microphone webcam available to you uh, on your computer or if you don't you can always call in with your telephone and it will allow you to um, talk in the meeting on your cell phone or landline phone whatever it may be. So for now I'm just going to go ahead and join with computer audio and so there we are. Now I am in the meeting and I have currently my audio. You can also share video if you have a webcam connected. I'll go ahead and start mine here to show you. Hi everybody. I'll go ahead and stop the video real quick uh, just so I can show you a few other features here. We have invite. So right here directly on the bottom toolbar you can invite people to the uh, meeting with um, Gmail or your default mail client which on campus would be Outlook or you can copy the URL immediately here with this copy URL button. So I'm going to close out of that real quick. Another important thing to keep in mind is of course if you're doing a PowerPoint presentation or something like that you'll want to share your screen with the class so let's go ahead and click on share and now it will ask you what you would like to share. You don't have to share your entire screen. As you can see, I have a lot of stuff open, um, but I'm going to just share one of my screens and the entire screen. So I'm just going to do screen number one, click on share, and then you'll notice a green border will go around the screen, and that indicates to you that this screen is currently being shared with everybody in the meeting. And so you can open up a PowerPoint and start a presentation that way. And also, whenever you're sharing your screen, you'll notice that toolbar I was talking about earlier went away in this window. It didn't really go away, it just moved location. So I'm just going to minimize this. And you'll see up here at the top of the screen, you'll see this green little toolbar that shows your meeting ID. When you move your cursor onto that, it will bring up a toolbar for you where you can mute your microphone, you can start your webcam, you can manage and view who is currently in the meeting. Also, you can switch in the audio uh, settings uh, which microphone you use, if you want the computer's audio to go through, that kind of thing. You can change the share, so if you need to switch screens or something like that, you can do that. You can pause the share if you want to do something uh, on the computer without everybody else watching. And also you can annotate, so uh, it's always helpful if you need to point something out to uh, circle it right there. I'm not a very good uh, at drawing, but uh, you can then clear that. Um, but you can also type in text and stamps and put some spotlights on some particular 
items here so uh, you can make things stand out for your students. And you can also save that for a future reference if you wanted to. And then we can close that out. And another feature that you may want to take advantage of is the recording features that are available to you in Zoom. If you click on the More icon, you have two options. You can record locally on the computer that you're using. If you're using your personal computer and wanted to have a copy of the file on your computer, that would be what you would use. If you're on a Podium computer, I would actually recommend in a classroom to use the Record to Cloud feature because that doesn't record it onto the computer. It actually sends it to Zoom, so it stores it in the cloud so you can go back and download it later, either in your office or at home, to download that and then share it however you see fit on Canvas or something like that. And so finally, to uh, you also have a chat feature if you hit the chat button so folks in the meeting can chat with each other. Um, you can also, if you allow it, you can have the folks in the meeting have audio access so you can have a group discussion in the class. So that can be helpful as well. So once you're ready to stop sharing the screen, you'll bring up that toolbar again by going up to that little green bar and click on stop share. And then this window will pop back up with your toolbar that will appear. And when you're ready to end the meeting, all you have to do is click End Meeting. And you can either leave the meeting, uh, which will keep everyone else that was in the meeting in the meeting, or you can end it for everyone where it closes the entire meeting. So go ahead and click on that, and then you're taken back to your uh, Zoom screen to either start another meeting, schedule another meeting, or join a meeting already in progress. So if you want to join a meeting, click on join and you will be asked for a meeting ID that someone has given you or a name that someone has given you and then you can type in your name and uh, also do not have the option to not connect to audio or turn off your webcam by default when you join that meeting. So you do have some options there. So that is the basics, or those are the basics, of working in the Zoom video conferencing solution. Um, if you have any questions, please feel free to contact the SMUIT Help Desk at 214-768-4357 or help at smu.edu. Thank you.